Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to avoid PC build mistakes. Now, these are two PCs that have been taken into a computer repair shop, which is Tim's Computer Repair, lives in Savannah, Georgia. He's given me some images to show you guys on basically how not to build a computer. So we have two high-end spec computers here, and this is one of them. And I'm going to go through and show you exactly what happened to these computers, which did not post, and you have to wonder why. First off, the I can see the actual graphics card is not actually in alignment there. It's not put in correctly. It is crooked, and so is the actual motherboard itself. Now, when I've finished with this video, I will leave the link in the video description to Tim's uh, YouTube channel where he's got the full video on these computers. It's a part one he's got up there at the moment, and he will have part two up uh, very soon. So you can take a look at them. But I'm going to show you some of these pictures. So this is the first computer that we have here. And you might be thinking, that's not too bad. But once you start digging deep and having a look, you'll see some of the really bad uh, mistakes that this person has made. And I'd go as far to say it's probably the worst computer build that I've ever seen. Now, these are 3080 Ti's and 3090 Ti graphics cards with high spec motherboards and high spec RAM and high spec power supplies. So he's using high end parts, but there's a few things I can see with this picture here. And you can see the full video on Tim's channel. There's hardly any screws in the motherboard. The motherboard is not in situ correctly. There's thumb screws holding the hard drive in. We've got mix and match cables on a high end power supply. And you would think that that graphics card won't fit in that case. And you're correct. So the person who is accordingly a seasoned pro PC builder goes and does the unthinkable by bending the case to try to fit the card in, which then doesn't sit in the slot correctly. And he wonders why the PC won't post. The motherboard was also held down with some thumb screws. So I'm not sure what's going on there. So we can see the thumb screws holding the motherboard down. There is screws missing from the actual motherboard as well. And it wasn't actually incorrectly there was screws missing at the back the ram was uh, around the wrong way and wasn't in the slot correctly uh, the cpu cooler had corrosion on the cpu itself and of course that big massive whopping bend in the case to try and fit the graphics card in at this point you have to ask yourself uh, why would you go and do that with a high-end graphics card just to fit into this old small case it's an old case and you spent a fortune on parts and yet you're trying to fit it into an old case like this. Now, maybe people do get attached to old hardware, but a case which you can upgrade for $100, it just doesn't make sense. And I think his thought process was he just didn't want to go through all the trouble of, uh, you know, stripping the whole PC down and having to rebuild it. So he tried to make it fit into here. And the CPU itself, you can see there, there's compound everywhere. There is literally just nasty uh, corrosion built up there as well. It's not very good. And uh, if you're going to be doing something like this with high end parts like this, it's not good. And you can see around near the actual uh, CPU cooler holes as well. There's something going on there. They just don't sit right. And uh, they've been abused a little bit there to try and make them fit. And there was other issues with this pc as well and we're talking about two high-end pcs and it just won't fit in that little case there so this is a 3080 ti in this little case here so i'm pretty shocked and the fans look absolutely disgusting build up with some sort of dust and and whatever it looks like nicotine and dust on there i'm not too sure but it doesn't look good so that is one of the machines that we're looking at here. And it's a real shame because this is a really high end card. And, uh, you know, some people would bend over backwards to get a card of this caliber. And to put it in an old case like that just would not do it justice. Now, the power supply was pretty good. It was a high end power supply. But obviously, cables have gone missing over the years. As you can see here, this is the other graphics card, which was a 3090 Ti using mix, mix and match cables on it. Uh, from other power supplies uh, so not great and the worst is yet to come so you're trying to fit these into two small cases that uh, are just not going to fit in there properly without bending them and that's what the uh, client has done 
So we'll take a closer look at some of the other photos and you'll see exactly why I think this is probably the worst build that I've ever seen or the worst builds that I've ever seen. Now, when talking about this on our Discord server, Tim was going through some of the pictures and showing us and I was absolutely in shock. He's had to strip it all down to test all the components because we don't know uh, what's uh, broken and we was looking at some of it and was trying to work out what you think the problem is. And then I spotted some really bad photos which are coming up a little bit later on you'll see them and uh, this one's just got dirt and grime all over it and also compound over it but a lot of the parts were all in the wrong place and they weren't uh, actually in their slots properly now this one is unforgivable and obviously tells the story why one of the pcs wasn't posting and it might be because the cpu has been put in the wrong way this is an i9 processor all these parts were brand new this was a brand new CPU put in the socket the wrong way and then clamped down with the, you know, retention lever and literally bent the whole of the CPU. You can see the massive bend in the heat spreader there. And also that's obviously going to bend all of the pins in the motherboard, which is probably the reason why it would not post. I mean, this is probably a $400 plus dollar, uh, CPU and you know, it's completely toast. I mean, the CPU's at it. The motherboard is probably gone as well because the pins are probably shorted and they're definitely bent. This picture does not do it justice. If you look at the board itself with a camera, you can actually see the pins have all been flattened down. There's compound all over the board on this one. And again, it's probably a new board and a new processor because the actual processor has been bent. It's not just the heat spreader that's bent. The actual uh, PCB board of the processor is actually physically bent as well. So as you can see, uh, that CPU is physically bent right the way through there. It's not uh, straight at all. It's not just bent on the ends. There's a bow in the middle and a massive bend in the heat spreader. So you have to ask yourself at this point, uh, if you're putting PCs together and you're doing this sort of damage, you have to ask yourself whether... Uh, it's more than a mistake because it's happening to multiple parts. And uh, again, it's a bodge job, really. And it's a shame, really, that people can't see this. And some people probably have more money than sense. And uh, they buy all this stuff and they try to botch it together. Instead of going to pay someone, you know, some money to build a PC for them and do a good job of it, they try and do it themselves and end up busting up some high quality components. And there's probably a few people now looking at these computer components thinking, I wish I had that set up. And, uh, you know, you wouldn't mind paying $100 for someone to put that PC together or $150 to put a PC together when you're buying 3090 TIs and 3080 TIs and i9 processors, uh, you know, and things like that. And uh, the Strix motherboard there, that is not a cheap board either. All these components are pretty expensive components. So you sort of have to ask yourself, this is another case that the person had, which is another bend to fit that graphics card in. And you have to ask yourself, at what point do you realize that it's not going to fit, but I'll make it fit and I'll bend it. It just don't make sense. And you're putting in, you know, a 2000 plus dollar graphics card into a case that's not going to fit. So I'll bend it and make it fit, you know, and probably the person bought these in, in the, time when graphics cards were through the roof and they were probably four thousand dollars now they've come down in price a lot more but it's still over two thousand dollars for one of them cards uh, and that's quite a lot of money and to bend something like that to try and fit it in of course when you bend something like that it's going to change the profile of the case which means the graphics card is not going to sit in there correctly I mean, the guy has obviously dropped a ton of money on these parts because these are 10 terabyte Western digital hard drives in one of those cases, as you can see here. And I can understand why you might want to use that case because of the hard drive uh, capabilities. I think it's an Antec 900 case, but you have to be realistic and measure a graphics card and look at the specifications and say that card is not going to fit in there. Uh, you know, you don't try to make it fit by bending things and, and things like that. That's just not what you have to do. You look at the graphics card dimensions, you look at your case dimensions, you get a tape measure out and you measure it and you say that is not going to fit. Now, you could remove that hard drive cage there on that case and the graphics card will fit, but you won't have nowhere to store 
all your God knows how many 10 terabyte uh, drives. And they're all 10 terabyte drives as far as I know or higher, So, which is pretty expensive in itself. And just when you think you've seen it all, you can see here the NVMe drive was inside the socket there with no screw with a bit of sellotape to hold it down and the thermal pad on the top there with the sticky thing still on there so it's not going to work correctly. The actual heatsink on this one wasn't even screwed down. It was like moving around. And I think you'll see that in Tim's video when he shows you the video. You'll see it actually all moving around. He's only showed you one part right now, but I will make sure I leave the link in the video description so you can head over to Tim's channel and check out the full videos on these two computers. And also give him a sub while you're over there because he's a real nice guy. I mean, at what point do you actually say to yourself, I don't know what I'm doing here? And then you stop. But this person has continued to put this PC together and then obviously realize that it's not posting. Well, of course it won't post. I mean, it's just, it's just terrible. I mean, the bend in this case here, I mean, that is pretty thick still down that part there. And uh, he must have given that some serious force to bend that to try and fit the graphics card in. I mean, you have to sort of say to yourself, that's not going to fit. You don't sort of say, yeah, well, I'll bend that. We'll get it in there. Now, on this next photo, you can see where they fit the card in. It's actually in the case. The RAM uh, is not in the slots properly. It's not in the actual slot itself which obviously means it won't post. The cooler wasn't seated right. The fan was on the wrong side. And also the graphics card wasn't in the slot either, as you can see from here. And obviously it's not in the slot because when you bend the case, it's going to make it hard to get a fitting on there. Now the cooler wasn't bolted down properly. It was all moving around. And also he's put the fan on the wrong side, which isn't so much of a big deal. Uh, the fans at the top are blowing air into the case and he's using them as uh, intakes and the obviously the real one is uh, an extracting uh, sort of fan. But again, it's not properly mounted correctly. And you can see that the graphics card is at an angle there. It's not actually in the slot. And this, of course, will cause the PC not to post. And you've only got to look at this photo here. It just shows you the motherboard was not in properly there was no screws there was thumb screws used to hold the board in and uh i mean it's just not giving yourself a good chance to get a posting uh, computer when you're building it and it goes with the graphics card how do i know the graphics card wasn't in the slot correctly because it it wasn't really giving it justice when he was looking at that picture of being out of alignment but it ain't until you see this next shot where you'll realize the graphics card was literally just bent and held in with one screw. Because of the uh, way he's bent the case, it's not in situ correctly. And you'll see it from uh, this shot here. So the motherboard is out of whack, and so is the uh, GPU here, as you can see here. Screws missing inside the power supply there. I can see that there. So not good. And uh, this is basically how not to build uh, a PC. And if you want to see a full video on this sort of stuff, then uh, check out Tim's channel. I'll leave the link in the video description. Let me know also in the comments section whether you've seen a worse PC build than these two you've seen here. I'd be interested to read your comments to see whether you think this was that bad, because I think it was pretty bad. To bend a CPU and to treat decent GPUs like this is not good. I mean, these are really expensive high-end GPUs, and to sort of treat them like that, it just begs belief. And there's one saying that I know comes true every single time. Just when you think you've seen it all, something else turns up and shocks you. And this is exactly one of those moments. In the PC trade, you think you've seen it all until someone comes along with another type of issue and you go, wow, this just blows your mind every time. And this is what this is what the uh, PC repair industry is like when you start seeing stuff like this. It's crazy. Anyway, I thought that would be a change of pace today to show you uh, something like that. It's, it's really interesting to see things like this uh, that's still going on in the PC repair industry. And, uh, yeah, big thanks to Timster for letting me uh, use these photos on this video. Uh, again, 
check his video out for the full video and you'll have a look over there. He's got two parts to it. So the first part's up. He's probably going to upload the second part probably today or tomorrow uh, if he's got time. Other than that, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Uh, big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on Tim's channel while you're over there. Give him some love. And uh, I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.